Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Villacore 1080p projector. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's get this open. That's very cool. It looks like it comes with a bag. Here we have a screen. This is a 100 inch screen. It comes with clips with some adhesive pads so you can mount it easily. Here we have the projector, the manual. Here are the cables. So we have power cable, HDMI cable. This is an AV cable for legacy equipment. So you have composite left to right channels. And here we have the remote. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So it looks like we have 17 pages for English, probably for all the others too. It says how to connect and watch Netflix. So there are a couple different ways to do it. I think the best option is to plug in something like a Fire TV stick or a Roku. You could also plug in your laptop. But using something like a Fire TV stick opens you up to use all the apps on the Fire TV stick or Roku. And we have some warnings here. You'll want to read through the manual. So here's a product overview. Has the different parts here. Has buttons on top. On the bottom here, it has ceiling mount holes for the projector. Here we have the remote control. This talks about installation method. So there are four different ways to use this. You can have the projector in the front or behind the screen. And you can mount the projector on a desk or on the ceiling. So that gives you a combination of four different ways to project. And then you can go into the settings and change it to mirror or flip the image. And that's pretty standard on projectors. This talks about focusing it, keystone correction, selecting the source. So this has two HDMI ports, two USB ports. It says Dolby Sound is not supported. If you plug in a USB flash drive, you can view files directly off the drive. So it lists the video formats here. So it has a lot of the popular formats. It also supports a lot of the popular audio formats and also photos. Then we have sound settings, projector settings, troubleshooting, etc. Let's look at the projector itself. So it has a lens cap. Pull that off, peel the piece of plastic off the top where we have the touch buttons. We have infrared here for the remote. On the side, it looks like we have a vent. We have audio out and AV in. So if you have a VCR, old camcorder, maybe a Nintendo, you could plug that in here. Otherwise you have USB ports and HDMI. On the back here, it looks like we have a speaker. We have another IR port and it looks like there's plastic over the IR here. I don't see it in the front. So yeah, you'll just have to peel the sticker off there. We have power in and I think that's another vent there. Then on the bottom, you can take these feet off for ceiling mount. And then we have a leveling foot here. And that goes out about that far. Now I don't see a tripod mount on here. This looks like it might be a quarter 20 thread, but it's too recessed. So if you want to mount on a tripod, you can get like a tripod tray or something. So here's the remote. Pull this open. I'm guessing it takes two AAA batteries. Yep, so I'll put those in. There we go. So I'm going to get the screen set up and we'll test this out. Okay, so I have the projector set up. I'm about 10 foot from the screen. It's going just beyond my screen. It was very easy to focus. I just turned the focus ring until it was focused. So I can do that here. And then I can change the keystone also. So I adjusted it just a little bit and this is the screen we're on. And it came right up to this screen when I plugged it in. So I can use the direction keys on the remote to move around. So on the left, we can go to AV, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. On the main screen, we have music, we have movies, music, photo, settings, support, and surprise. So let's go to settings. So here we have the picture mode. So you can change the picture settings there. We have zoom. Let's see how far in this will zoom. So it says 25, I'm guessing that's like 25%. We have color temperature, noise reduction, Next, we have sound, and the icons are on the top that I'm looking at here. And we have standard mode, and we have different sound modes here. Next, we have options, so we can change the language, it looks like. If we go down a little further, we have the projection mode. So this is where I was talking about, where you can have it be in front, behind, on the ceiling, or on a surface. So I'll exit here. So I'll insert a flash drive. You can see it appeared in the upper right. I'll click on movie. We can choose the USB drive. And here I'll find a movie. So I'll play this train clip. Now we have volume control on it. I'll turn that up. I want to fast forward this. So that looked very nice. So it does have controls for fast forward or backwards. So let's go back, let's go back to the main screen. We have music, I don't think I have music on here, no. We have photo, so I'll hit play here. And here we have photos. So it automatically set up a slideshow. Looks like I can go through and change some settings here. I can say repeat all, rotate.
So if you have some photos you want as a slideshow, you could use some software and make a movie file, or you could just put the photos on a flash drive and display them. So this is great for weddings, graduation parties, reunions, anniversary parties, um, any kind of gathering where you want to share photos. So you can have these in the background flipping through. Okay, so now I've connected my laptop. I'll go over to HDMI on the left. I'll go to HDMI 1. I have it set up to mirror the screen, so we can see that here. Now along with your video settings, you'll want to potentially go in to your sound settings and make sure you choose to send audio to the HDMI out. On my Mac here, it's showing up as S2 TEK TV. So I can play a YouTube video here off my computer. Play that full screen. There we go. When we're done with that, we can hit home and go back to the main menu. So when we're done using it, we can press the power button, press it again, and we can shut it off. So that was the Villacore 1080p projector. This was super easy to set up, had great image quality. Now I connected my laptop up here, but like I said, you could put a Fire TV stick on the side here and you would have all the apps that are on your Fire TV stick, which could be like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and other apps like that. You could also put video game systems into this, like the Switch, the your Xbox, PlayStation. You could connect up computers. But it also has those media playing capabilities. When you don't need anything complex, you can just put your flash drive in there and play the media on it. I like that this also comes with a screen. So if you don't have a great wall to put it on, you can put that screen up and cover up whatever's behind it and project onto it. And then when I'm done, I can place this on here. And I think one of the nicest things I wish all portable projectors would come with is a case, because projectors like this are compact, they're easy to carry, but you have to carry them in something. So having the case there, you can take this with you. You could take this to a hotel room for some evening entertainment on vacation. You could use this for outdoor movie night, things like that. And you can store it in the case when you're not using it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.